Hello everyone. Welcome back to the today's tutorial on shell functions. In today's tutorial we are going to see how to write a function in shell script, how to uh, implement business logic in that shell function and how to call the shell function within either the same function or outside the function. So let's start today's tutorial. One of, the fun one of the thing we are going to say is whenever we execute any function that function might have either return type or it may not have so in case if it has if it has return type how can we get that return value from the function if we execute an exit command from inside a function its effect to terminate execution of the function and also of the shell function that call the function so we can use exit command to exit from the function if we instead want to just terminate the execution of the function and then there will be a written value for the given function which we want to use we can return that value also based on the situation either it's a exit or it's a terminate by returning value we have to use the return command every function returns some value if it is a successful then return value is zero based on the condition whether it's a failed case or it's a successful execution with no return the return code value will vary but in general there is always a return value either zero or something else for example one here is the example in this example we can see we, we wrote one function in order to write a function we have to use our keyword in this case it is a message then simple open bracket simple close bracket open curly bracket and write our business logic here what we are writing here is we are just echoing welcome to then we are uh, writing another word techno world and then we are reading the parameter from the input so user can pass any value here the the parameter one then learn and the parameter two and then few words and then parameter three you can use n number of parameters there is no limitations however for the good programming practice it's a good idea to limit those parameters to five and after this Ex uh, after this writing the business logic we are returning the value so here we are re returning 0 as a value then if you see we are calling this message function in the same code you can call in the same code or outside the code as well but in our case we are calling within the same shell script yes that is possible in order to call the function just write the function name that is message and there are three parameters are required dollar one dollar two and dollar three these are the three parameters in unix the parameters are recognized by the space so if you put a space it would be treated as a different parameter the first parameter we are passing here is raj second parameter is unix and third parameter is courier and at the next step we are actually capturing the return value from the above command so when you execute message and then parameter it it is going to execute that message method if the execution is successful then return value that is zero what if we are returning there that will be assigned to the given variable in order to assign the return value we have to use the dollar and question mark so it will assign the execution previous execution value and then we are returning the value by using echo so let's see this example how it looks so we already typed all that code what we just discussed a message then we are echoing welcome to techno world dollar one learn dollar two and make good dollar three and at the end we are returning zero here we are calling the message method by passing raj unix and courier these are the three parameters you can change this parameter you will get the different result and here we are capturing the result of the previous execution if we have the multiple execution what are the last execution you have done its return will be a uh, return value will be assigned to this variable by using dollar question mark 
and then we are finally printing this value on the console using return value is this return dollar so let's go ahead and execute this script so we can see the values are replaced here and we can see the output welcome to techno world raj learn unix and make good career return value is zero as we can see we got the return value because that is what the previous execution is returning so that is the simple way to write the function and calling the return value there is another kind of function that is called as nested function nested function are uh, those functions where we can call multiple functions within the same function within the given function you can call it one one function or many function in given function here message is a, a given function where it is written in welcome to techno world dollar one learn to and make the good dollar three and if you see here we are calling some other function and the name of the other function is message2 so what this message2 is doing it's actually just re echoing reach out to the techno4 guru for more details it's very simple so when we call this message function it will print this echo message and then it will execute the next executable statement that is another function it will go to this another function and it will echo this line and at the end we are just calling this message function so that is what is happening so message raj unix career this is execution so execution command will go to this message command it will first print welcome to techno world then it will call to the message to it will go to the message to function and it will print reach out to techno guru techno for guru etc so this is very simple nested functions and that is what we have written in the nested function script message and message to with the respective echo commands i hope you are getting this very simple command it's just we have to use this message to word because message to is a function within the script you can call within the script as well as outside the script as long as you have the scripts in the path of this execution so let's try to execute this script and we'll see how the output will be rendered now we can see here the output it says welcome to techno world raj learn unix and make a good career reach out to tech for guru for more details so it's correctly printing both the messages from two different function even we are not calling two different function separately so it's called as a nested function let's see some more interesting facts about this functions how to call functions from the command prompt so we just saw how to call within the script in order to call from the command prompt what we have to do is we have to provide the definition of this command or the functions inside dot profile because each user will have the dot profile we have to provide the definitions in the dot profile file these definitions will be available whenever the user or whenever we log in to the system in x system alternative to this we can group this definition in a file and for example test.sh and then execute this file in the current shell by typing dollar dot test.sh and then you can call the the what are the function you want to call in this case suppose we want to call message just call message it will get executed so these are the ways by which we can execute the custom functions by providing either in a dot profile file or providing these commands in the simple file and putting uh, in the current shell now we just added these functions in our library or in our execution path how can we remove these functions in order to remove these functions from the shell we have to use command called as a unset but 
we have to remember that we have to use option called as a dot f this command is used to remove the definition of a variable to the shell for example dollar unset dot f function underscore name so if you want to remove message function you have to type dollar unset dot f and then message because message is a function so these are the details about the functions how to write a function how to call a function in a script how to call a function on a command line and as well as how to remove these functions i hope you are enjoying these tutorials if you have any questions or queries you can definitely reach out to uh, to me by email or you can put your comments in the com comment section or you can reach out to my website also there you'll find a more in interesting stuff about Unix. Thank you again. Have a nice time.